everybody welcome to another diy video today i'll make a jabo collar a brief history about these accessory it comes from the french jabo which means bird's crop the crop is a muscular pouch that looks really cute this style came about around 1650 it was an essential component of upper class male fashion then, in the late 19th century, the Jabo collar was used to decorate women's clothing. And there you have it. The initial idea came about when I was watching the Men's Grand Prix figure skating finals at Torino. I was watching Murakao's performance, which by the way was incredible. Unfortunately though, Mura didn't think it was good enough. Being hard on ourselves can be quite damaging to our mental health, I feel like. I mean, sure, we can aim high, but we have to remember to celebrate our achievements too, no matter how small they may seem. But alright, back to the DIY. I was inspired by Miura's outfit as a whole, because it's a look, but what caught my eye was the puffy colour he was wearing. So, to make it, we're gonna need everything I have here. We've got some lace, I chose black, then uh, a needle, some thread, scissors, velcro, uh, and a strip. These two are optional, and lastly there is the ornamental piece, which um, could be anything really, a piece of jewellery you have that you like, it could be a brooch as well, uh, or some kind of pin. In my case, I found this uh, earring, actually. Hey, Kimmy. Hey, darling. <laughs> the two laces I got are different, as you can see. I couldn't choose between the two, so I got them both. I have a meter of lace, which I think is too much, so I'm gonna cut it in half. Let's get the needle ready. Oh, so easy <laughs> now I will begin folding the lace like such all right now we can begin sewing honestly sewing is kind of nerve-wracking I have a history of always getting hurt with this so I'll be careful Ouch! No, no, nothing happened. <laughs> Ouch! I said I was gonna be careful, but apparently not. <laughs> Kimmy! Kimmy, what are you doing? <gasps> you're poor, you're poor! <laughs> Kimmy! <sighs> Alright, let's continue. It feels very secure now. Wait, that kind of looks like a Tero Tero Bozu. You know those Japanese, uh, what are they, like handmade little rain dolls? They used to supposedly prevent rain from coming? Oh, I think Kimmy wants to play. This is Kimmy's favorite toy. It's a hair elastic. Have you back? But where's your toy? <laughs> now we can proceed to the second layer. I already have half a meter here. I just realized that I <laughs> that I used the wrong side of the lace. This is the front. This is the back. Kimmy, what? Uh, anyway, life goes on. So be it. Now that this one is in place, we can join them together. This is kind of tricky. Is that why they sell those needle pushers? <laughs> I'm sure they're not called that, but... So, that is an issue with the embellishment. This is too thick. <laughs> it's not gonna go through. I think I'm just gonna sew it in. Wait, is that even possible? How am I gonna do that? Never mind, I'll find a way. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to secure this in place by putting it through the first layer only. And it somehow worked, but um, it's still a bit loose, so what I'm gonna do is so it anyway now it's in place with this step done you could potentially be 
done with the whole project you would just add something in here a brooch a pin something to attach it to your shirt but i want to take another step and add this to the mix add some velcro here and to the other end to adjust the color And that's it we are done now it's time to try it on oh my goodness this is the final look um all right what do you think oh i love it give me what do you think how did i look Thank you so much for joining me in another DIY. It's been quite fun. If you try this, uh, I hope you have a great time. You can try many different colors. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much again. And remember, life is amazing and you deserve the best. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.